Okay, so this is going to be the first time I try this. I'm going to do a video blog. Vlog or vlog, as some people like to call them as well, to incorporate today's blog. Today's blog is about, oh, well, first today's day, it is November 2nd, 3.41 p.m. Tuesday, uh, voting day, actually. So, 2010, November 2nd, 2010. 3.41 p.m. Okay. So, today's blog is about dynamic duos. And when I say dynamic duos, I mean one person that you can say and you can't say that person without immediately thinking of another person. So, when I say somebody like that, I mean Super Mario. Who do you think of? Luigi. Okay. You think of Bert. You think of Ernie. Okay, Bert and Ernie. You can't think about Bert and not think about Ernie. Just like you can't think about Ernie and not think about Bert. So that's what this entire list is about. Just dynamic duos. The greatest dynamic duos of all time. So I did a little bit of research and uh, got some surveys from what people think. Things like that. And I'm going to read some of them. So uh, one of the ones where I actually put this one up and a lot of people agree with me. So sports side, we're going to say Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen. Okay, keep in mind, Michael Jordan had a lot of other people on his team that helped him out. Ron Harper, Tony Kuko, Steve Kerr, Dennis Rodman, etc., etc. But as far as dynamic duos, Jordan and Pippen goes to them. Okay, still on the sports side, Peyton Manning, Marvin Harrison. Again, they have the record for most touchdowns between quarterback and receiver. So it's almost like they are one of the dynamic duos in sports. So Peyton Manning, Marvin Harrison. All right, so it gets a little mixed up in here. Um, the next one we got is Eddie Van Halen and David Lee Roth. All right, so a lot of people are fans of the Van Hagar era where Sammy Hagar came in after David Lee Roth left the band, but a lot of people say the band was never the same. And as you see, years later, it's 2010, David Lee Roth came back and actually rejoined the band. So... Goes to them, Eddie Van Halen, David Lee Roth, is magic, okay? Next, Batman and Robin. Okay, I wasn't quite sure about this one because, in a sense, Robin came later. So there was a time where you could actually have Batman without Robin. So I wasn't sure if that one should make the list, but a lot of people said, yeah, you got to have Robin if you got Batman. So, again... They made the list. Um, scrolling down the list, we already said Bird and Ernie. Um, fans of this, I wasn't quite, didn't want to put it on there, but they said Laverne and Shirley. It's almost even, if I'm not mistaken, that's the name of the show as well. You can't say the name of the show without saying both of their names. So Laverne and Shirley, so they make the list. Um, we already said Mario and Luigi. Um, another one, uh, Pinky and the Brain. Okay, that was a really uh, interesting one. Again, you can't say the name of the show without saying both of their names, Peaky and The Brain. Um, another one that I didn't even think of, uh, Wayne and Garth. So Wayne's World, uh, Mike Myers. You gotta, you gotta think Wayne, but he's always even on the cover of the movie Wayne's World one and two, and throughout the majority of the movie they're together. So Wayne's World and Garth, Dana Carvey. Um, so, but even one that I just thought of right now, Harold and Kumar, could they possibly make the list? Who knows? Um, as far as other people, we got Cheech and Chong. That's a good one. Beavis and Butthead. Um, Hall and Oates. Okay. Again, many groups and or people that you can't say the names without saying them too. Um, all right. Now this is a really good one. We got John Lennon and Paul McCartney. Okay. Um, again, one of the dynamic duos in music, you can't really, I mean, keep in mind there are, were two other members of the Beatles, but those were, I guess you could say the double front men if you want to, John Lennon and Paul McCartney. I don't know if you can necessarily have one without the other. So, uh, we got Shaggy and Scooby, Scooby-Doo, I think that's a pretty cool one. Uh, we got Big Boy and Andre from Outcast. I think that's a good one. 
um, Jay and Silent Bob. So that's a pretty good one from Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back, Clerks, um, Kevin Smith and Company. Um, another, and then this is kind of, or in the rap world, this actually happened recently. Um, Wiz Khalifa and Currency, they're becoming one of the new dynamic duos. That was one of the things that kind of drove this list because we were talking about new duos. Um, other notables... Um, I already said Beavis and Butthead. Um, Jules and Vincent from Pulp Fiction. They're pretty much together the entire film. Uh, Ren and Stimpy. Um, someone said Han Solo and Luke Skywalker. I don't think so because you can definitely think of Han Solo with Princess Leia or definitely think of Luke Skywalker as a solo. So I don't think so. Um... And then this is where it started getting kind of weird. They, um, oh, Starsky and Hutch, I guess you could say that. Thelma and Louise. Um, but this is when it started getting weird. Um, not necessarily people or thing. It started turning into things. So, uh, Michael Knight and Kit from Nightwire. Um, I think so, but maybe not because Kit is like a car, and but he's like a supercar. And Michael Knight is a person, so I'm not sure about that one, but um, I'll give it to you. And then Peanut Butter and Jelly was a great one, and um, Macaroni and Cheese falls short on that list. But uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video blog, and we'll check back in a little bit later. All right, Make sure you uh, check me out on Twitter, twitter.com. The Real DJ Reaper, that's all spelled one word. I'm going to put it in a little button right there. Uh, check out my YouTube channel, Snake Shaper. That's Snake Shape with the R at the end. Put it down there as well. Um, check out my blog site, bgsu.edu slash rcsims. Um, put that down there as well. Um, Till next time.